How's it going everybody? It's Rosie here for Astrophotography. We're in the garden again. It's Monday. And apparently it's meant to be clear. But they just think like a telescope. So let's fix that. I may need a bit of luck tonight actually, a few fingers crossed. Uh, there's still some wispy cloud, wispy clouds, wispy clouds, wispy clouds, moot. That's fine. So, still a couple of hours before uh, it gets dark enough to even start imaging. Clear outside is not optimistic. Uh, good to stargaze is optimistic. It says about 10 o'clock at night. It'll be a 0% cloud. Clear outside, on the other hand, is saying that there's going to be cloud. It also still is a bit windy. So we'll have to see what happens. I really hope it. I really hope I can actually shoot tonight because, well, I got all my equipment out. I've got all my cameras in use. 600D is down there. 450D is there. 760D is here. Guide cameras obviously being used. Main engine cameras being used. There's a mess of wires down here. <laughs> uh, so hopefully it's all good. Tonight we are doing uh, the Elephant Trunk Nebula. Blah, blah, blah. Tonight we'll be doing the Elephant Trunk Nebula in Cepheus, which is raising in the north, northeast over there. Uh, it's a large uh, emission nebula. So because there's the moon out, I've got my hydrogen alpha filter in. So because we've got so much time here, I'm actually shooting my dark library for five minute long subs because I don't actually have a dark library for the five minute long subs that I'm using for the hydrogen alpha. The piggyback DSLR here has got a SkyTech CLS CCD filter in it. It's the full spectrum modified one. My intention with this, I'm using it 18 millimeters. It's going to catch the lip of the telescope. And because Cepheus is still quite low, I'm hoping it's going to shoot. Yeah, I'll show you. So now the camera is pointing roughly north. Is it? You know what? It'll do. Cepheus is going to be rising just about behind me. As you can see, we've got the shed, got a couple of houses. So my intention is because of the field of view I'm going to have, it's going to catch the front lip of the telescope and it's going to catch some of this foreground detail. So I want to do a time lapse of it rising up over capturing some of the foreground and hopefully it will show you movement and it'll be decent it will look nice i don't mind actually shooting these kind of experimental shots with piggyback dslrs and uh time lapses because i don't mind it because once the main imaging telescope is actually working i don't really want to experiment with that because that's the main event while that's working i don't mind experimenting with other cameras. Man, it's getting loud. Don't mind experimenting with the other cameras because that's bonus footage in my eyes. So hopefully that'll have a nice time lapse there. The 600D, the Canon 600D, which is down here, is pointing, I'll show you in a moment, is pointing up over there. Uh, it's quite tight in because it's the 50 millimeter prime on a crop body camera. So it's actually effectively about 80 millimeters. I'll be shooting at F1.8, which is wide open hoping to get a large, a wider field of view time lapse going on. And by wider, I mean it's actually going to be quite cropped in. Uh, this is the furthest back I can get it whilst it's still plugged into the mains, especially this angle because the bins are here. But we'll see how it goes. Like I said, experimenting. So yeah, 600D is right there. And yeah, that's the kind of uh, shot I'm looking at. As you can see, it's quite tight into the uh, telescope. So hopefully when this is shooting, the telescope's going to be... I think the tube's going to be on this side, pointing that way. 
Uh, so you're, the, the intention is to try and see most of the telescope and if you can see any stars, that's an added bonus. I gotta tell you, I absolutely love making videos. This is so much fun. There's gonna be a lot of data. I, I want there to be a lot of data because hopefully there'll be one, two, two cameras, one main engine camera, several videos to all piece together, including the B-roll. <sighs> Man, I just, I love making videos. This is so much fun. It's like just a hobby for a hobby. And it's just, it's so much fun. And I hope you're enjoying these videos. I, I look back at like some of the couple of my first early videos and I can already see how I'm improving in my videography. I think that's what it's called. I must do more reviews though. I gotta start getting around to doing reviews. Yeah, so Elephant Trunk Nebula and Cepheus. Piggyback time-lapse, wide time-lapse. Well, let's gonna call it medium time-lapse and maybe a, a wide time-lapse with this camera. I can't do that, I only have one remote shutter. Thing to note is uh, when you're trying to calibrate and if you're having issues calibrating you're guiding and you can't figure out why and you're struggling and you're having a hell of a job uh, go back to your um if you're using EQ mod or SynScan or some form of ASCOM connection be sure you have the correct tracking rate set early on I thought I might go do some Luna and then so I used SynScan to track over to the moon then I remembered I had a hydrogen alpha filter in my camera and I'd already shot my flats so I was like ah I ain't taking it out and uh, SynScan remembered the lunar track rate so then when I used astrophotography tool to track over to my target uh, my calibration star uh, yeah, it was set to lunar. It was set to lunar track rate. Yeah, I had about two, two and a half hours of time tonight. I've just lost an hour trying to diagnose and fix my issues. And it was all down to the wrong tracking rate being setted, setted, being selected in SynScan. So if you're pulse guiding, make sure you're ASCOM connection or whatever software you're using to control the mount is in the correct track rate. Whoops. But you know, you live and learn. And that's why I like to tell you I want to be honest with my mistakes, be transparent and show you, look, things happen. Hopefully you can learn from this as well. So if you ever run into that issue, uh, double check your track rate. It's cold now. <laughs>